Good morning. We are now going to do dynamic subtraction using the golden beads. And again, you can go to your Google folder and find your six to nine math workbook. And within that 387 page document, if you scroll down to find dynamic subtraction, it will start off with just one digit minus one digit and continue on and become four digits minus four digits or three digits. We're gonna do a four digit minus a three digit right now. I've already set up the problem cards. We have 6,417 minus 308. So let's get that set up. We need six thousands. Here is one thousand, two thousands, three thousands, four thousands, five thousands, six thousands. Now we need four hundreds. One hundred, two hundreds, three hundreds, four hundreds. And now we need 17. Well, we know our teens are made from tens and units. So there's a 10. And now we need seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now we have our first number, 6,400. 17 or 17 <laughs> and we're gonna take away 308 okay so when I show this to my students I always physically try to take away the bottom number one take away one so in my hand take away one take away two take away three take away four take away five Take away six, take away seven. Uh oh, I don't have enough. Well, I'm gonna go next door and see if I can borrow a 10. Okay, so I'm gonna go next door. We played knock knock with this work with the children. They like it. So now we're gonna borrow this 10. We say, Can I borrow this 10? And the neighbor says, Sure. So we're gonna exchange this 10 bar for 10 unit beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well now, I wonder how many unit beads we have now. Many of you will say 17 because you know 10 and 7 is 17 but let's let's prove it let's count all the beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay 17 now, can we take away eight? Of course. Take away one. Take away two. Take away three. Take away four. Take away five. Take away six. Take away seven. Take away eight. Let's see what our answer is. We have to bring all the beads down and count them. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Our answer in units is nine. Okay, let's see. What do we need to take away in the tens column? Zero. I'm going to take away zero. Okay, let's move on. Now we're going to take away our three hundreds. Take away one hundred, take away two hundreds, take away three hundreds. And we have one hundred left. Hmm, 
Now, in this problem, I notice that there's nothing there in the thousands place. That just means it's a zero. We don't even have to write it in, but that just means there's a zero there. So we're gonna take zero thousands away. Here's my zero thousands. Let's find out how many are left. One, two thousands, three thousands, four thousands, five thousands, six thousands. We have six thousand remaining. So let's put our answer together and cover up our zeros. Try to read that number out loud. Do it right now. Read the number. Okay, now I'll read it with you. 6,109. 6,109. Nine. If you caught yourself saying and, like 6,109, don't say and, because and means there's a decimal point. We just say 6,109. And that is our answer. So we can have our fun, fancy pencils if we want. And color in the green, the blue, and the red. Okay, what did we find out? Seven minus eight is nine because we borrowed. So it's really 17 minus eight. So we're gonna write our answer right here. Now, if you think you're ready for this part, you can show that we borrowed that one and we brought it over here, that 10, right? That one 10, it's now a zero. And so our answer in tens is zero because it's zero minus zero. Now we move on, we're gonna look at the hundreds. Four minus three, well, we discovered that that is one. And then the next one was six minus zero, right? we discovered that that's just six. So our answer is 6,109. And look, here's our answer, 6,109. Okay, try it yourself. See how many problems you can get done. This happened to have been page 81 but you try whatever page you like. Okay, see if you can get a whole page done today. Have fun.